base that's been building for four years now. Brian Flores takes us back to the beginning. The 911 call went out around 10.30 p.m. on August 24, 2019. Someone called police to report a suspicious person. That was Elijah McLean. The 23-year-old was walking with groceries and wearing a ski mask. He was not armed. In the body camera video, you can hear him talking to officers. I have no gun. I don't do that stuff. Aurora police claimed McLean was uncooperative. A struggle with three officers ensued. Paramedics injected him with ketamine. McLean went into cardiac arrest and died days later. In September of 2019, the Adams County deputy coroner announced the cause of manner of his death were under investigation. An autopsy was released in November of 2019 that stated McLean's cause of death was undetermined. Then, almost three years later, the coroner amended the autopsy in light of new evidence from a grand jury investigation. It stated McLean died of complications of ketamine administration following forcible restraint. In September of 2021, the police officers and paramedics involved in his death were indicted. Now, one question we wondered is why the trial has taken so long. So we spoke with Ian Farrell. He's a professor at DU Sturm College of Law, and he says the timeline is unusual. I think this case has taken longer than is normal or, or common for um, for a criminal case to, to get started. Uh, the reason for that is primarily uh, the process that led up to the indictments. And those responders were not charged until after a grand jury got involved. That is because the DA originally chose not to file charges. And another reason for that delay is separate trials. A few months ago now, a judge ruled that there should be three separate trials. And so the police officer who was the first person on the scene is being tried separately. Two police officers who came to the scene as backup are being tried together in a second trial, and then the two paramedics are being tried separately as well. So one police officer, two police officers, and two paramedics in the three trials. The trial that's currently beginning with jury selection is for the two police officers who came to the scene as backup. Now we'll be covering this trial in all of our newscasts and stream, bringing you updates every day.